All right, so here's a couple things to look at. Uh, this is that controller that I recommended to you. It's the DMC 3XL Gen 3. Anything with these lights up top are Gen 3. Uh, what you can do with this pedal, this controller, is, I mean, amongst other things, I'm just going to show you what you were asking about. But I have it on device A. So this is device A, preset 5. You can scroll presets. You can see the LED up here changing colors as you scroll through. You can disengage and engage by holding down. And then this controller is going to work for you if you can do tempo this way. And actually this is the way that I prefer tempo. I prefer a readout rather than, I mean tap is easy to do but you never get, you're never right on the money. I mean I could see like if you're just kind of jamming you just want to tap a tempo in that's fine but if you have like a, we always had like our set lists and I, I would write down what the tempo for each song was and then I would just dial it in. This was years ago on a totally different system but anyway let me just show you real quick. I can find my pick. So right now it's set to 145, and this light is blinking uh, at the same rate as that one there. So if you wanted to drop that down, say you wanted to go to 120, it's really easy to do. Just press and hold. And you're there. And now it would be this rate. So that's one way to do tempo and preset scrolling with just this device here. This will also control uh, three other devices. You control up to four devices with this, A, B, C, and D. With this device and this method of doing tempo, you cannot do tap. This device will do tap, but if you do tap, then it won't do MIDI. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a cluster with this setup. If you want MIDI, and tap tempo. This one will do MIDI and tap tempo, but this one will not. And the reason why is because to configure this for tap tempo, you have to configure this uh, multi-jack for what they call out, and that would send tap tempo to the tonal recall, but then it's disabling or bypassing MIDI. So if you wanted to Go slightly bigger, I mean it's like what, half an inch bigger? Not any wider at all. This one has an expression roller on it, but I mean you don't have to have that. So it would be the same width and slightly taller, that's it. <clears throat> and it allows you to do a lot of the same stuff. You've got preset scrolling there, you can see that LED changing as I advance and come back down. Um, Bypass and engage, just the same. And when you go to that clock, now it's the same as this one. So you can scroll up to a faster tempo, and the LED will follow you. And scroll back down to a slower one, and the LED comes back down. Should be blinking in tandem with this light which it is. All right, one last little thing I wanted to show you, you know, since we're all here and everything's here, this smart clock, it's got two independent um, tap outputs on the side here. 
kind of dark in here, sorry about that, but there's two tap outputs right there. And those two outputs independently send tap to two different pedals. I have this one configured as A, and this is the B, because I'm following the signal chain A to B. A is set up for dotted eighths, B is set up for quarter notes. And to make that work, you just turn off any like note division that's on your delay pedals. So on uh, tonal recalls, you would just turn it over to the quarter notes. And so the dotted eights would sound like this. And the same exact thing in quarter notes would sound like this. cool because you run them together and get this kind of thing. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's kind of like... Dit, 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 dit. Like if you heard one by itself, dotted eights and quarter notes and together it's just a really cool effect and then another thing I like to do is set up one kind of a longer regen and I dial off the uh, tone, make it a little funky, a little modulation, let's hear that one by itself. Yeah, and when you run those together, nice crazy uh, Chase Bliss thing going in the background but it doesn't dominate and then you can dial in how much of it you want but I mean it's more kind of warbly sounding obviously than just So you can dial in dotted eights, uh, quarter, quarter dotted eights. Oh crap! I gotta look at the book. All right, here we go. Um, so you could turn it off. Whole note, half note. Half note triplet, quarter note, dotted eighth, quarter triplet, golden ratio, eighth note, eighth note triplet, and sixteenth note. Sixteenth and turn B to let's try that golden ratio. And let's dial this back to how we had it a minute ago. Hmm. It's really weird, it kind of 
gallops right behind me. <laughs> kind of like that, that's cool. If we turn this less obvious, so mostly we'll be hearing this one now. Interesting. On the other side of this smart clock, there's a MIDI, and I think that's... So there's tap tempo outputs, a MIDI output, a MIDI input, and a multi-jack. And the multi-jack can be configured... as a third tap tempo or an additional MIDI output. So you could, in theory, and this could be wrong, but as far as I can tell here, if that's a MIDI output jack, as long as uh, the firmware supports it, you can probably use this as a MIDI box for a single Chase Bliss pedal. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, just I'm just trying to show you this has like lots of options. Two dedicated temp tap tempos. That was the MIDI wasn't it the MIDI input? MIDI output. So the other side was MIDI input, this is MIDI output and then USB port for firmware. Anyway, point is, you can do a lot with this thing. <clears throat> so just kind of to recap what I was showing you earlier. So I was showing you the DMC 3XL. This is all Gen 3 stuff. And I was running it out of the multi-jack output using a Chase Bliss modified cable. This was the cable I was using. It's a standard TRS cable with the exception that the tip and ring are reversed on one side which I just I just made one myself but you can also buy one online if you don't know how to solder uh, that was going from here into the MIDI port and that's all it took to run that pedal with both the this type of up and down clock and preset scrolling And out of this one, it was the same type of cable. No Empress MIDI box needed. But this one can be configured for both this type of scrolling and for tap tempo. You can see the tap. Oh, huh, actually, this one actually doesn't need to be reconfigured because it's receiving tap tempo information right now. Huh, cool. I didn't know that. See, you learn things sometimes. So, just like on the smart clock, where you can dial in tempo. You can do it here, too. Up and down, and tap. Sorry, I don't know if I'm making this any more confusing than it needs to be.
I think for what you want, this would be the best way to go. If you don't have room for it and you can get by with just that other kind of scrolling, then this would be your best bet.